Welcome to the Joshua B Boy Podcast now on YouTube. Uh, today's going to be with a little bit more energy. Uh, I'm trying to clip this into as many reels and as many TikToks as possible, but also I want this to be watchable on YouTube. So if you have ever heard of the Eiffel Tower theory, then please go away because this is a video is not for you. This video is for people that want to learn about the Eiffel Tower theory. That's why you clicked on this video on YouTube, and that's why you're here on TikTok because you swiped and now you're learning about the Eiffel Tower theory. So what is the Eiffel Tower theory? It's a per- it's a per- personal branding formula and it's also a strategy that I've learned that I'd like to share so without further ado have you ever thought about how much money the Eiffel Tower is worth it is a priceless object it's probably never going to be sold to anybody but how much money does it bring in a year is the next question so money that people spend to go to the top of it to take a couple of pictures How much money do you think that is? I don't even know how much money that is, but everybody knows that it's not as much money as everything around the Eiffel Tower. So surrounding the Eiffel Tower is restaurants, malls, shops. Um, I'm sure even parking prices are through the roof, so the city's making money off of it. Everything around the Eiffel Tower is very expensive. Everything around the Eiffel Tower drives the economy, and everything around the Eiffel Tower is only making that money because of the Eiffel Tower. But the Eiffel Tower makes pennies, makes euros, makes, you know? So we can apply this to what we're doing in our daily lives by taking it into more of a theoretical sense instead of taking it so literally. And think of yourself as the Eiffel Tower. You are branding yourself through uh through funnels really through uh probably more than one source of income if you're entrepreneurial so what i'm in the process of doing right now is i'm in the process of getting certified for digital marketing uh i'm still between if i'm going to do it freelancing or if i'm going to work for a company i might work for a company first to see how they scale business and how and how they uh how they do shit because i've only ever done marketing for my own YouTube channel for my own Instagram stuff, for my own Google rankings, for my own Google ads, for my own Facebook ads, for a lot of stuff that gets done in digital marketing. But um, surrounding me is that option. So if I'm the Eiffel Tower, digital marketing for a company is an option. Digital marketing for myself is an option because I can go on Upwork or Pfeiffer and create a profile and start doing um, individualized jobs that will be that people will hire me to do just because they clicked on my shit and then they want me to do it because I'm the one that they chose and I, I just have to land it through an email or through a Zoom call and uh, get the job, get the pitch, get the money. It's all in theory. So if you are the tower, then the things surrounding you are like companies, networks, channels, social media, freelancing pr- platforms, um, and also... I'd also put up job boards, so websites like Indeed where you can get a job. That's surrounding you. Those are all your options and how you can add to your funnel to make yourself worth money. Because at the end of the day, what I'm getting at is your personal brand is the most important, but how you're making your money around yourself is where the income is really going to come in. So like, my income is really going to come in from digital marketing and then maybe YouTubing in the future if this channel ever takes off and then I surpass 1,000 subscribers, 4,000 watch hours, and then my, and then my uh, channel is monetized, then, then I'm thinking about YouTube. But right now, I have all my eggs in my basket for digital marketing because it's going to make the money. Your personal brand is how people are going to find you. So... Uh, so I have a mentee now and I was explaining to him the other day, I was like, how often do you think about Gary Vaynerchuk versus Vayner media? Cause Vayner media is his company and it's huge and it makes a lot of money. And that's, that's where all the pennies go to when Gary makes money, it all goes to Vayner media, but Gary Vaynerchuk himself, the Eiffel tower, he is the big deal. He is what you search up. He is what you're going to see. He is what you want. 
And then his brands and his companies are where all his income really comes from. Because I can promise you Gary Vee is not making all his money off of YouTube AdSense. Nobody on YouTube is making all their money off YouTube AdSense. You have to do it through affiliate marketing. You have to do it through your own companies. You have to do it through a merch system, t-shirts, maybe products that are attached to a store underneath your YouTube channel. There's so many options. But what I'm getting at is those people are adding to the economy around their towers. So every destination, so like what I'm really getting at, like how you do this is like every destination must be located to your Eiffel Tower, aka your personal brand must be searchable on Google. You must be searchable on Google. And that is the next thing I'm going to get into. To be searchable on Google, all of your names have to be the exact same. So I'm Joshua B. Boyd on everything. My descriptions for what I do in every box on, on LinkedIn, Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, the descriptions are all the exact same. And then my content is Joshua B. Boyd in the title in everything on YouTube. So if you type in Joshua B. Boyd on Google, I dare you right now to do it. Type in Joshua B. Boyd on Google and I show up. But I'm going to tell you why you always have to keep on working on that. There's a Josh Boyd, not a Joshua B. Boyd, but a Josh Boyd in the NFL in the United States. And he shows up on Google. But I have a ranking tool, a vidIQ ranking tool on YouTube where I search Josh Boyd. And then he is like 400. He, he only has 400 more subscribers than this account right now. So if I get 400 more subscribers, then I have overtaken Josh Boyd in the NFL on a Google ranking to assert my spot on the internet and you do that by ranking yourself by doing search engine optimization and i can't stress this enough how much people need to do this shit but like dude i don't care what you're doing if it involves the internet and a business you need to learn digital marketing before you learn anything about your niche I have wasted so much time learning things about niches and then not learned about marketing and then got nowhere. Like I had a clothing brand called Apparel and it was for mental health. It was a mental health clothing line and I only got two prints out, uh, two, two giant boxes of clothing out and I sold them all for cash. And then I just marketed it without doing digital marketing. And then my website didn't have product on it because I didn't know how to attach products to my website. And I was really inexperienced. And then lo and behold, now when you Google Apparel, there's a huge, huge clothing company called Apparel. Somebody else got to it before I did. And, um, yeah, it's just like that shit can happen to you. And it's already happened to me once. And it's because I was trying to rank a company name. You have to rank your own name. Even if you have a company name, you have to have a personal brand because people want to know exactly who they're getting their product from and who created it and what their story is. And people are really about that shit these days. So they're going to follow you before they follow their company. It's funny because in my notes, all I have is like shit about being searchable. Cause like that's, that's where I was going with this. Cause Eiffel tower theory is, is about having being so searchable that you have all your economy around you that the Eiffel tower stands as your name and then everything else is all the ways that you can be contacted and all your services and everything else and all your content. It's pretty much it for the day, guys. Um, it's only a nine minute podcast. Um, right now I'm going to be throwing in some outro music. So 